Encouraging news for those of you excited about electric scooters in the city of Mobile. Today I spoke with the CEO of the Gotcha Scooter Service and he tells me he's very optimistic with the numbers so far. So far, electric push scooters around the city of Mobile seem to be catching on. Since the soft launch Saturday, the company has recorded more than a thousand trips. That's a pretty impressive uh, stat. I mean, a lot of folks locally are excited about this. Uh, if we continue to see that, there, there will be no issue with Gotcha wanting to remain partners with the city of Mobile. Gotcha CEO Sean Flood says the ride sharing service is designed to be very safe. Riders are required to download a Gotcha mobility app and take a safety tutorial. It's a great mode of transportation, but it's just that. It's, it's a vehicle for people to use. So we want them to have fun on it, but, but take it seriously and, and realize that they've got to understand how to use it. Users must be 18, should follow the rules of the road as if you're on a regular bicycle, and are encouraged to wear a helmet. Flood says Gotcha hasn't had any vehicle scooter incidents in other markets. He's unaware of any serious injuries, and he hopes to bring other modes of transportation to Mobile. I know we're working with the city. The city's been, um, you know, very interested in bringing e-bikes. I think that's going to happen kind of early 2020. Uh, and I know our team's kind of working actively with the city around narrowing that launch date. Flood tells me he expects that to happen in March or April. You may remember the city of Mobile did have a bike ride share of last year with the company Lime. It made its debut in August of 2018 and later less, and left seven months later. Lime left because they wanted to expand their services to include scooters, but at the time, Alabama state law would not allow that. A bill to allow electric scooters passed this summer.